Timer has started, We're and on. today we are talking about my favorite show, Jersey, Jersey Shore. Shore. Jersey Shore. I have to tell you, by the way, uh, I think it's absolutely remarkable that we live in a day and age when a girl who looks like a fire hydrant can be <laughs> doing so well. She's she's an oompa loompa. She's an oompa loompa. She's if an oompa loompa and a fire hydrant had mated, there you go. You would have Snooky. She's short, stocky, orange. And uh, I was going to say something really offensive. Well, but, uh, anyway, it, it's, I was going to. So, know, Jersey Shore. It is a phenomenon. And very popular. And there's nothing you can do about that. Once it becomes a phenomenon, it becomes part of that pop culture. Yes. Um, it, it's just out there. But honestly, I can't watch it. You can't. I love I, Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore, number one. Good Jersey Shore. <laughs> uh, I love Jersey Shore. I think it's, uh, it's very entertaining. But for me, it's entertaining because I grew up with those people. Okay. I grew up, uh, when I went to high school, I was one of the, I was the situation when I grew up. I was the guy who was like, look at this, check this out. I ain't got nothing else going on. Who wants to do me because of my body? Uh, I, of course, have conquered that. Uh, I'm no longer known for my body. I'm just... <laughs> No Poor longer, Patrick. No longer known. Um, but he's no longer known no at all. No longer known yes. at all. I'm not the situation. I'm the awkward silence. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I enjoy it because uh, it's just young ki uh, young people going out partying, having fun. Uh, you've got these idiots doing their thing. And uh, it's wonderful to watch because it, it, you know that person or you've met those people. Or it's the train wreck. It's the train wreck effect. And also, it has the J-Wow factor. So anything now, is, that's got a J-Wow in it, I'll is watch. This, is, is, is Jersey Shore and its immense popularity, though, part of an overall feeling in the U.S. where we're celebrating idiocy? I mean, yeah. if you put it in the larger picture, you got, you know... Snooky in the situation of these yeah. hugely popular figures. You got Sarah Palin, who's this popular, uh, you know, politician who's a, you know, she she doesn't know anything either. No. Uh, you got Christine O'Donnell, that Tea Party candidate. Oh who, my lord! Who has, has the ad where she says, "I'm Christine O'Donnell. I'm not a witch." Who, um, Christine O'Donnell, who's running for Senate, who doesn't even know that the First Amendment says that there is a separation of church and state, which and fits in well with Sarah Palin, who claimed to not read any newspapers. So. Is is there a? I mean, is is it cool to be stupid now? Is that is that it? I think uh, that people are putting these people up on pedestals because it makes them feel better about themselves. And people say, "Well, hey, I'm glad that Sarah Palin. If Sarah Palin could be president, that's great because she's just like me. I want a common person to be." Well, those people are not supposed to be common. They're supposed to be above us. You want your leaders to know more than you do. Just like you want your entertainers to be better than you are. You want you want your right. entertainers... Like, I mean, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's somebody who has the ability to entertain. Uh, but now it's just it's just this weird exploitation thing. But I love Jersey Shore. I think it's wonderful. And so does everybody else, which is why the Jersey Shore, they're fast-tracking it. And uh, instead of waiting until next year for the for season three, they're having it happen in January. Well, thank they're goodness making, for that. And and you've got uh, a little tidbit on uh, MTV. What happened with the negotiations for season three? Oh yeah. Well, if you'll recall, um, the last time, of course, they all wanted to raise from this. From yes. When they went into season yeah, two, and justifiably so. They and were so doing very well. They sort of said, "Ah, yeah. we'll replace the bunch of you." you, you morons. Yeah. And then they ended up caving in and giving them the money. Now yes. they're coming in out and saying, no, none of these people are replaceable. They're, they're all replaceable. valued cast members. They're replaceable now that we've seen the ratings. There's only one person at MTV who's irreplaceable. And that man, Johnny Knoxville. Oh, my He gosh. can take a shot to the crotch with a ball-peen hammer like nobody's business. And did you hear? Uh, Jackass 3D is coming out like in less than a year. It's coming out in like six months. There you go. Jackass 3D Part 2. Uh, it was Which is uh, basically all the outtakes of the stuff that they didn't make. make and they're also, the the right? also going to do some extra stunts as well. So they're also going to do some extra stunts cool. as well. So so uh, if you enjoy... And the winner is Football to the Groin. Uh, so if you like Footballs to the Groin. Who doesn't? Arr, See you next groin. time. Bye.